Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be interviewing Brayden. Uh, you can go ahead and plug your stuff if you want. Go ahead. Just check my stuff out. I'm Brayden with a zero on all platforms. Checking out. Me and Dylan work together a lot. Yeah, that's all I got to say. All right, so today I've got about six questions for you. Uh, we're going to run through them, and then at the end, we're going to have a little promo section so you can promote whatever you want, whether it be album, Instagram, Spotify, whatever you want. My first question is going to be, what's your favorite part about making music? Okay, favorite part of making music. See, this is kind of a multi... I got a, I got a lot of answers for this because there's different elements I do like. Okay, so... First off, of course, I like where I started the most, which is just vocals. Um, I have been doing music for a while, so I had, I started off doing vocals like artist-wise back in, I want to say 2017, late 2017, early 2018, so a while back. Um, and I was still in like high school, I think, at the time, so I didn't do producing side yet so uh, that was my favorite part i like to have the effects on my voice that was like the coolest thing is like hearing the effects uh like auto tune and reverb and delay and all the stuff i like to mess around with all that um so vocals was where i started i like that the most secondly though i love producing i was shown by you how to produce and since then i've been can beats non-stop so uh, I really do like it and I am getting better and honestly I do feel like if I get to the point to where I'm like really really good at it it might overtake being the or like the artist favorite wise it might be producing but as of right now since I'm still learning how to do all that I'm gonna say artist because I'm more confident as an artist so that's my answer for that one. yeah being an artist is really fun um all yeah. right let's see next question is what is your favorite song that you've posted it can be a beat you made that someone used or your own song feature okay. whatever um let's see okay this is gonna sound a little dumb because quality wise it isn't my best song and i do know that but meaning wise and like just in general my favorite vibe whenever we started working together of course we had did stuff where you mixed it but vibe i i still remember making that song i remember exactly where i was i was sitting over the other side of my room literally i remember being on we were on a twitch live i remember making that song on twitch and I think you were probably the only person that was in that live. And I know you made the beat and you were kind of with me. That was like our first studio session in a way. Like, cause you were there. Granted, we weren't talking like we are now, but you were in the chat and you were providing opinions and helping me out. And of course you made the beat and the cover. And I'm 90% sure you mixed it as well. I think you mixed Maybe. that song. So, I mean, solid, solid song at the time. It was really good. Now, of course, now that I have a whole different setup, whole different interface, a whole different doll, everything is all different now. Um, I don't, I don't really, my best song really is probably, I don't know, probably Other Side. The Other Side is really uh really good and the only side that that's a good song um on that on my recent most recent album it has you on it and that song means a lot to me because it's kind of like a dedication song for you because you've done a lot for me and we're like best friends at this point so like i made that song with you in mind and throughout the song i mentioned your name a lot and the song itself is just really good so i like that one as well but vibes my all-time favorite song sure really solid answer <laughs> and i like that you gave like two different answers but still yeah you know, because like, it was true yeah because there was two different ways to look at that so yeah that's yeah. that was my two two 
views on that question. All right, so we're gonna go into our next question here, which is, what's your best memory in making music? What memory makes you look back and go, man, this is why I do this. This is what makes me happy. I kind of have a, I mean, it's one answer, but it's multiple times. And that's just all the times that we're on call making stuff. That like, I'm, I'm happiest then because I got somebody with me. I'm not just doing it by myself. Which, doing music by yourself is good at times because it's like therapy for a lot of people, including me. But having a different way to do it, as in like have a friend with you, y'all do it together. It's, I don't know, it just feels more collaborative and more fun, I guess is, is the word. It's more, it brings me more happiness being with somebody and we always are on call doing whatever. It doesn't really matter what we're doing. I'm most happy doing it whenever I'm with somebody else. So that's that's my favorite time and like thing to do in music. That's my favorite part of it in general. And I do like making good music as well. That's I'm not gonna overlook that. I like making good music and I like putting it out there so other people can hear it and other people can relate to it, vibe out to it, whatever it is. I I like doing that too. But personally, I like to just have friends doing it with them so that's that's my favorite part of music that's that's really good that's a solid answer um yeah. so we're gonna switch gears a little bit i'm gonna ask you what's your favorite thing to do outside of music like hobbies anything okay okay well yeah this is this is a dry answer for me after all the other great answers i've been given with all the different responses i got one for this one and it's the truth this is the only one i can say video games i play them not as often as i used to as a kid because music has kind of taken the place of video games in my life but as a kid growing up always i mean i still do play games but most of the time i'm doing music now but as a kid growing up i played games all the time i constantly i don't, I don't know that was that was my only hobby ever i never really was into sports heavy like i'll watch it but i'm not gonna play it um I'm, I'm more of a inside type chill indoors play some games whatever but yeah other than that though hobbies i don't know if you count a car as a hobby if we want multiple answers i can count my car as a hobby because i'm always like upgrading it I'm, i invest a lot into it i buy different parts for it um but yeah mainly video games though that's that's my main hobby so i'm gonna uh do a follow-up question for that and what is your top game you've played this year Gamers out there know that this year has been dry. There was not much that happened this year. So this answer is going to be kind of a quick one because it's there's really only one option that I have and I and it's a new game. Like it literally just came out like a week ago from the time that we're making the video. Payday 3. Fun. It had a little rough launch. Uh, it didn't work at first, but it's working now. Servers are finally stable. Um, so me and my buddies have been playing that the past week or so. Oh, a close runner up though. Texas Chainsaw. All right. So we're going to go back and do the more music aspects of things. Uh, what's your favorite album you've made out of all of them? My albums are technically step one, more of an EP, but you can still title it as an album. I'm not really sure where i title it and then thanks for nothing of course and i have a new album that's coming out in like less than a month so um out of those three i love thanks for nothing love that album that album is great has great songs great features but it didn't have a meaning <laughs> to it per se i'm gonna say with that being said i like thanks for nothing but my Halloween one that is coming out soon, that one is my favorite because it has two meanings. One, Halloween, of course, uh, it's my favorite holiday. I've always wanted to do a type of project where I, you know, center around Halloween. So that is good for that. And then also it's my birthday in October and it's right, it's like, I want to say 10 days exactly before Halloween. So I have that as a, a meaning kind of going for it as well. It's gonna come out around my birthday time. So I'll be celebrating for two reasons on that day. So I'm hyped. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my answer. I think that one is better just in the sense that the meanings are 
all over the place. But I just went up and, you know, like I said, I didn't have a meaning for it. It was just kind of an album. All right. And this is going to be the last question of this interview. Okay. Where do you see yourself in a year's time? It could be music wise, just life wise, whatever you okay. feel. Uh, so hopefully a year from now, I will have new fans. I'll have new projects out. I'll have new friends that I'm doing music with and working with on a regular basis. I, I'll have better everything. I think, I think the quality is going to increase. My production, beat wise, is going to increase. Who knows, I might can even do a whole self-produced album. That would go insane. I'd be insanely happy to do that. So hopefully, a year from now, I can do something along those lines. Uh, so that's what I hope to do in a year. All right, well, now is the time for questions is over. Now is the time to plug anything you want. You can plug your Instagram, your Spotify, your album, anything you want. The floor is yours. Um, okay, well, like I was saying, I got an album coming out very soon. So if you are a fan of Halloween, <laughs> check it out. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an eerie type of album. It's It's got some darker tone to it. Uh, kind of different than my normal stuff because I usually do like a rage type sound, which is <laughs> more so upbeat. Um, so it's kind of a different style that I haven't really tried. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for it comes out October 31st, Halloween night, drops officially when Halloween starts, so that will be uh, I think 5.30pm every like, time zone, so uh, your time zone at 5.30pm that night, it'll be out, so right whenever you're about to go trick-or-treating, you can blast that, you can go get some candy with some tunes, so that's all I gotta say for that, uh, my Instagram, Brayden with a uh, extra B at the front, so it's B Brayden. Um, SoundCloud and all everything else music-wise, it's just Brayden straight up uh, with a zero instead of an O. Um, I got beats on my YouTube channel. Check them out if you need some beats. And uh, yeah, show some love to Dylan. That's, that's all I gotta say. Shout out Dylan for all that he's done. Dylan's a great guy. My my bro. Uh, I appreciate you for letting me come on and get an interview. I was hyped. This is the first time I've done one. I'm, I'm nervous as hell, but you know. Right. And I think this is the first time that you've been on my channel as not just a feature, too. Yeah. So, what's up, Dylan's guys? How y'all doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Check out my YouTube. I know I'll plug the beats, but I, I do reaction videos and stuff as well. So, go check that out if you want. And if you're an artist, send an album my way and i'll make a video to it so yeah all right well that concludes everything thank you brayden for coming on and uh we'll see you guys next time so plenty of stuff that is going to happen and brayden's got an album coming out i've got an album coming out in mm -hmm. like november so we're kind of dropping back to back yeah uh, y'all so about to eat y'all about to eat good hell yeah plenty of stuff to go on um my instagram is you know at wyd dylan it's just like my youtube channel so if you want to follow that i do beats uh sometimes i'll cook up beats in live and i do giveaways on kits that i've made lots of different stuff so yeah that's gonna wrap up this interview uh thank you oh, yeah. for coming and appreciate it we'll see you yes sir Peace out, guys.